storage virtualization. I mentioned uh, it a little earlier, um, and um, I wanted uh, you know expand on this some more because this has been um, uh, so very critical for our users and so very critical for the uh, wide adoption of in uh, DME that we have seen across MCI because uh, because of two reasons. One is um, uh, users do not have to worry about the path of the file or the collection, where physically it is located. So they have scripts, they have bioinformatics pipelines that talk to, you know, to DME, and they just see the virtual uh, path that iroids present. So they do not care. Today it is clever safe. Tomorrow the data may get migrated because of, you know, several reasons and it may go on to cloud and they do not have to worry about it. Um, and the first time when we did the switch over, from CleverSafe to Cloudy, and they were amazed when we told them that, hey, you know, we are just going to do a system restart and nothing else has to happen. So they were so worried, oh, you know, you're going to change the storage back end. So this is going to be several weeks of discussion and we have to plan that. And, you know, they, they were so very concerned and uh, but all that was done was we just uh, changed the configuration database configuration the backend and just restarted the system um so that was uh, you know a, a big um, um, win for them um and data migration another um, it's uh, we are doing a lot of data migration off late because we have to migrate uh, all the old data from cleversafe to cloudian uh, because cleversafe has reached end of support and uh, that again is transparent to the users it does not impact them in any way um data tiering um, uh, it's the same thing, you know, move, we moved data, uh, we have started moving data, what is frequently um, not accessed at all to cold storage.